how fast is fast before you miss it? When you work in environments that are moving very fast, like uh, in this particular example, I want to start by talking about filming in theaters where you do uh, live surgery or surgery just happened there, like a heart attack, angiograms, uh, strokes, uh, uh, scoliosis, uh, um, I don't know, uh, uh, neuroscience surgery, and so on and so on. Things that you cannot really stay, stop, let's do it again, I miss that. Um, these are events that nobody will expect you to learn in just one day, one week. These are sort of events and, and, and filming events that you gonna have to have your best practice. You need to do different mock-up scenarios. You will need to think of everything. You'll need to consult with the people. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Different angles. Um, yes, of course, uh, it's everything happening there in front of you. Uh, and in particular for me, uh, if you watch uh, and you click and you watch this after the podcast, uh, the one of the patient's information video that I have to be created, um, all results or, or my life will go, uh, my, my heart will go on or saving George, they're all heart attack, they're all uh, uh, interventional uh, surgeries that took place live. Um, I couldn't stop it and I could not have it again with the same patient. So you need to learn in advance how fast you can move, where is your space in this environment. Uh, you need to talk to your consultants, doctors, medical staff, uh, prison staff, uh, uh, school staff, whoever you're working with, to see the boundaries. They all have boundaries. They all allow and disallow certain things. Uh, but also, later, these kind of skills that you develop here in a peaceful, safe environment to a certain extent can be used in conflict zones, refugee camps, and other things where tension, it is a bit higher than, than a peaceful uh, country like uh, United Kingdom.